Hello, this is your air to air weapons training. The F 16 has three different types of air to air weapons. Your guns, which is a 20 millimeter cannon, which is right there. Your M9 Sinewander missile. And your AIM-20 AMRAM missile. The F-16 is equipped with the M61A1 20 millimeter cannon with a rate of 6,000 rounds per minute and a range of 3,000 feet. The F-16 is also loaded with 510 rounds of PGU-28 20 millimeter bullets. In other words, you only have 5 seconds of constant fire. It will be something like this. Come, come, come. And that's it, you are the bullets. So use them wisely. The primary rule of lining up to a target is with your gun cross. Your gun cross is displayed on your HUD and it will lead you to your target. The gun cross is also displayed on your nav mode but once you are locked on a target a digital range to target and a closure rate readout will be displayed on the lower right corner of your HUD by going into your dogfight and locking up on a target you'll see the top line on the lower right corner displaying F29 which is the range in miles of the target but for targets under one nautical mile it will display hundreds of feet the second line will display your closure rate in this case it's negative minus 154 so this target is going away from us and when you're not lock onto any targets the corner will read M15 which is manual mode set to 1500 feet before calling up any weapons you must arm your jet you will do this right before entering a battlefield or before attacking a target the way you do this is by switching on your master arm switch now you are armed and dangerous let's call the guns by pressing enter and then you'll see on your HUD the word EEGS on your HUD mode indicator. This is your first sub mode of your guns. You can cycle through those sub modes by going into your right MFD and pressing into the OSB button above EEGS. EEGS stands for Enhanced Envelope Gun Sight and adds a funnel underneath your gun cross. This funnel gives you a general indication of the path of the bullets and it will also give you the distance to the target. The minimal range corresponds to the top of the funnel, which is right there. And this is 600 feet. The maximum range at the bottom of the funnel is 3,000 feet. If your target 
is smaller than the bottom of the funnel, this outer range. So I'm going to try to get closer so you can see how the locked on works on your gun sight. Okay, I got closer to the target and it uh, looks like a MiG-29. You really don't want to be in a gun fight with a MiG-29, but we're going to see if we can destroy this target. To use it accurately, you must put the uh, wings off the target at the edge of the two lines of the funnel. So once you get the target aligned with the funnel, that will be the proper distance for you to fire. Before I destroy the target, I want to show you a couple more uh, cues that appear on the HUED to help you uh, get a hit. If you look up uh, there's a T symbol, or it's called T symbol. It's a plus sign with two horizontal lines. Uh, so if your target is pulling 5 G's, the solution will be halfway between these pipers. And also here you can see the tar target designator that is a um, semicircle with a uh, tick on it and the, it's going to start extinguish counterclockwise so if right here it's telling you that your target is about 9,000 feet away from you so if it was at 6 o'clock it will be 6,000 feet And that's how it works, more or less. So practice, practice, practice. Now the second sub mode is the SSLC. So let me show you how it works. It's pretty simple. You just let me pause it so you can see better. You will put your target right where the metal circle is and you will fire. These cues tell you where the bullets will hit if you hit the trigger at that moment based on your gun cross. Now let's see the next one. It's the uh, LCOS. I call it the LCOS. So um, this one is pretty much two lines with the circle and this one will tell you the path of the bullets and pretty much like the other one you have to put the target in the middle of that circle and finally your snap mode line this one provide a tracer line right there with tick marks and a TV box target designated box. It's not very useful against uh, maneuvering targets. The only thing it provides is a history of where you have been pointing the gun. Your three tick marks and the line indicates where the bullets will be if you were to fire at that time. That's it my friends. Pick up your favorite one and practice, practice, practice. Gum, gum, gum. Gum, gum, gum. Gum, gum, gum. Gum, gum, gum. Gum, gum, gum.